Alright, in this one, I will be diving into my updated top 10 tier list of the best units in Dragon Ball Legends right now. We're in the part two of the Legends 5th anniversary, and I'm gonna say, uh, you know, they did a very fantastic dropping you know, a couple of really relevant units to not only make the meta more diverse, but, you know, just spark some controversy of where these units do belong, which units are getting replaced or jumped up and down on this unit tier list. Um, you guys know how we rank the units here. It's not going to be just individual like this, but uh, this unit is better, flat out better than this unit. Which are the most valuable units in the game right now? Who is attached to some of the best teams in the game right now? And who obviously is individually kit-wise the best units in the game but um we did obviously do a part one tier list if you guys want to go compare and contrast uh go check out my part one tier list i still do believe that the part one units are dominating the game right now but uh this definitely brought back uh movies to the extent of them being one of the best teams in the game again from not even i think being um hovering around the top five six seven best teams in the game to movies being a top five team in the game at the very current moment uh, among some other builds that you're gonna be slapping the new units on here So before we jump in make sure to drop a like on the video and obviously subscribe if you guys are new here I do upload content every single day uh, Regarding Dragon Ball Legends. So uh, without further ado as you guys can see here I do have a team comp with the new LF Gamma 1 and 2 uh, Very interesting unit right now. They're a range type unit stats are you know kind of spread equally amongst the strike and the blast so you could kind of build them strike i ran them on a strike movie setup they were absolutely cooking you guys know the movie's composition right now is primarily catered to a strike attack overall setup so being that one blast unit uh range type unit that you want them to cook blast wise it's a little bit interesting you uh you could build them either or and they're still going to do really good stuff especially with support types like the new gohan and you got pan obviously uh as well i don't think gohan's gonna be making the top 15 list i'm just gonna be 100 percent honest with you guys he is a very good alternative if you guys don't have high stars on pan they just fit for different purposes um you know gohan does offer the support the gohan that i am talking about is this one right here he does offer a solid amount of support not quite as much the potential as pan is able to offer but he's also an overall uh better unit if that makes any sense he can deal a lot more damage uh, you know, he's just a better all-rounded unit rather than just being a pure support type existing for the benefit of the rest of the battle members, similar to what or uh, what Pan pretty much is in the game here. But um, definitely going to be moving uh, some placements. The Ultras are still individually the best in the game. Uh, we do have a couple of LFs. I don't remember where I placed Go Freeze on the last tier list. I'm pretty sure it was, you know, it was easily in the top five previously. And then they got their whole buff, their massive change buff. I did upload a tier list. It wasn't in a video format when they got their buff, but I posted the tier list uh, on my community tab page. I posted it on Twitter. I even talked about it on my streams and videos, but Go Frieza leveled up to the extent of to one of the best units in the game right now, just off, uh, you know, they were good before the buff, but their kits, individually, they're one of the best in the game right now. You know what I am going to do for this list is um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's come down to this, that Go Frieza is the first LF in a very good while. I don't want to say long time because, you know, Beast Gohan was probably the last time an LF was number one in the game. But um, yeah, I do think Go Frieza is arguably number one in the game right now. And just don't bite my head off. They have some of the best team options, comms, individual base kit. Like this unit feels like an an ultra character right now but they got a complete unit kit change additions to their kit changes damage buffs anti-rush um utility that you name it these guys are autopilot to the max nuking with blue card damage stacking damage uh you know pan support freeze support hybrid like you could do whatever you want on with the setup with them and they're going to be cooking see the setup that i have on uh the screen right here is a universe rep setup they're being zenkai buff no really support type unit they're still going to be stacking damage individually they're still going to be cooking you have them at high stars or at least seven stars these guys are one of the best in the game um and i'm going to be arguing them top one just strictly off everything that they offer you know the you guys probably running into the team's pure uni rep setups with jiren and um 17 hits 
it's an insane setup. You could do the double support setup with Frieza and Pan. It makes them look like disgusting. Absolute monsters. If you guys have tapped into any of my content, you know what I'm talking about. And um, just a couple of other builds. I know I, if I still have this one setup. This one right here is also really good. Uh, don't mind the name there. This one is one of their lit four times Zenkai buff. You're running pure equipment on them. They're doing one comboing every unit, like literally in the game. This one's also very, very solid here. But the amount of team options that they do have, uh, if you don't believe they're at least top one, top two, and I guess you could go the lowest top three. They're not lower than number three in the game right now. But I will argue one and two uh, interchangeable with this other unit right here. He's just too good to not mention. But um, this is the number one or number two unit. I think Kid Buu's also interchangeable. Uh, he's just too good individually. Kid Buu's way too good individually. He has just as many team compositions. You could also run him with Go Freeze if you really desire to. Uh, like I said, Blast Armors. Any unit with Blast Armor gameplay, it feels almost autopilot. Um, you know, the way that they have cover nullification, ways to cover null. You know, Go Freeze as soon as you tag into Frieza, cover nullification. Um, your drop comboing. Oh, by the way, Go Freeze it hits crits like no tomorrow <laughs> this unit is hitting like an absolute truck um but boo obviously i don't want to really dive into the kit but the lock-in the aoe damage on ultimates the aoe green cards are so like autopilot so um this unit is very good the healing on both of these units are ridiculous uh team compositions for kid boo this is probably one of the best in the game right now uh if you're running a regeneration setup you can put pan on leader slot for support the damage is going to be through the roof you can make a pure regeneration team with zamasu it's going to be really good as well um kid boo on pretty much any setup you throw him on leader slots i had this one setup here of him on uni rep absolute cook fest right here like i said don't mind the name but yeah uni rep very good but throw kid boo on that had two of the two best units in the game on the same setup and then you have arguably the third best unit in the game on the same setup hit i'm probably gonna put a number three um i didn't think about this list prior to make the video i never really do it's all raw takes uh you know i think about it a little bit here but i am probably going to put hit at number three um very good setups here regeneration has skyrocketed with the new piccolo uh you know zamasu red cell you know regeneration is a top team in the game again You'd love to see it honestly me purpose uh me personally, I don't really run regen like that, but I will respect the team. I should start farming equips for the setup now, but um, this is not the best. Uh, you know, I need stars on the piccolo to really make it valuable. I don't have access to the red cell either, and I know red cell does make the top 15 list. Um, he is fantastic unit, uh, but yeah, Kid Buu is one to be a powerful opponent. Let's like not forget the double ultra setups, right? Rose with Kid Buu, Kid Buu with Hit, Kid Buu with Gogeta, any double ultra setup pan support any other third party glue utility unit like zamasu is going to cook probably arguably still the best teams in the game if you're running zom kid boo and rose you guys see me run that setup a ton already um next i am going to put number three is going to be hit right now i'm just gonna straight up you know if kid boo is one of the best in the games the best counter to kid boo in the game is ultra hits uh you know you can argue him higher like i said these three are arguably interchangeable i have a personal you know preference of having go freeze on leader they're just way too consistent they like everything i listed previously the cover nullification the healing the uh da uh the damage the actual um the comps they have so many compositions hits you got to have them on a couple of specific setups obviously he's on all the double ultra builds with kid boo rose gogeta uh you he's a main on universe rep so Universe Rep, he's literally on the best team in the game with the best unit, Go Frieza. Uh, you could rock him with Kid Buu. He's a counter to Kid Buu. Uh, the time skip, that's the one thing that I will say. You need to land the time skip. It's not difficult, but it's also very easy to counter. So it's like a dual-edged sword. If you don't land it, you're in a very interesting position because you missed your trump card and you got to build it up again. But, um, you know, that time skip is just an instant kill. If you have your hit built correctly, if you're running the right equips on your boy, like... Dude has some really nasty equipments right now from, you know, all these pure... Uh, the, he has a brand new Awakened Pure as well that's going to be really, really good for him. But um, it's very fantastic. Easy cover nullification with the green card. Restore Vanish on ultimate. Time skip. You name it. Best teams. Very no-brainer type situation here. I am low-key. Like, the, the rest, it could also be sort of interchangeable. Jiren is cooking right now on universe rep one of the best builds i don't think he can be number four he's probably like five six or seven 
Rose, I want to argue him still top five individually. He's just a monster. Um, the only issue I have with Rose right now is that this is uni rep meta, and you're seeing purple a lot. You're seeing go freeze in every single game for the most part. Obviously, it's diverse. The meta is probably the most diverse it's ever been in the game. Um, you name the amount of teams that you're seeing right now from region to movies to androids to uh, you, like I, literally you name it right GT the ultras the whatever bro but um I love that about the game right now that you can run various amounts of setups and they're still going to be performing if even if they're not the best team in the game I'm thinking android specifically they just got a buff with the LF gammas and they're not the best team in the game they're not on the best androids is not the best team in the game but it's arguably one of those top teams without an ultra that can compete very very well uh but uh this one right here i am most likely gonna put rose four or five still um he still fits incredibly well with hit incredibly well with boo you can leader slot him on any team um probably at number four is what i'm thinking for rose he is really that guy uh you know i'm gonna put rose at number four um I wanted to put him a little bit lower. I had to think about it a, real, a little bit. He's just, I can't underestimate him. It's just, his issue right now is if you go into a game against a Go Frieza, a super buffed Go Frieza, whatever Go Frieza, and you just sidestep and you get caught in a blue card, he's insta-death. Even at high stars, he's insta-killed most situations. So that's his main issue. Obviously, he goes time neutral. Obviously, he has three ultimates, easy vanish restore, easy like paralyze, all these stuff. But, um, you know, Kid Buu is immune to Paralyze. Uh, the Gammas, I believe, or one, one other unit right now is immune to... Is it Piccolo? I think Piccolo. I'm... There's... No, no, no. I don't think it's Piccolo. It might be <laughs> Magenta that's immune to... There's one other unit that I'm I'm not thinking about right now. But, um, yeah, dude. There's ways to counter these units now. Like, Rose. There's ways... You know, they have they started to heavily counter Gogeta with dropping units like Kid Buu. Uh, units like Rose that kind of uh, stop Gogeta from popping that blue card right afterwards because it locks it. Um, but they're constantly dropping units to counter other units right now. I feel like Rose dropped very recently, and there's just so many ways to counter him right now at the meta. You're running movies. Gogeta's back into the meta. Honestly, I want to put Gogeta top five again. Was he top five in the last list? I think he got pushed down. But um, I might be putting Gogeta at number five. Um. With movies resurgence, I'm just gonna say it right now. Gogeta has earned the spot again. Uh, he was gonna be a little bit lower, uh, you know, if, if the movies team didn't just get revamped, right? Like I feel like movies, you know, obviously he still had access to his double ultra setups. He has Hit, he has Rose, he has Kid Buu. Those setups, literally with pan support. So Rose, Gogeta, Kid Buu, Gogeta, or Hit, Gogeta. Those setups are ridiculous still. Um, they're doing just stupid damage. Gogeta is an insane utility unit. He has the counter, healing, the gauge, uh, cover nullification very easily on his green card. Very clutch type unit potential. Um, autopilot, blast armor, what you name it, right? Movies composition right now um, is bringing a lot of value to certain units. Like Beast Gohan's probably getting an increase. Um, even though the gammas are more blast oriented, you know, because of the Z ability and whatnot, you can still build them. You know on a movie setup either way and they're going to be performing really well so uh gogeta i'm going to put slap at number five right now um you know it's crazy because it's it, this is all arguable i think the um like all these units you could definitely it's based off preference and experience in pvp i've definitely played a ton with these units testing out getting wrecked with certain setups but um the ultras are just the best in the game. They really need units to bring the best out of them right now in the meta. And that's what kind of happened with movies. He, you know, he got a little bit more value. He has a little bit more options for builds and setups. When UVB does drop, he will drop. I am calling it. He's going to drop. Rose might skyrocket to number one in the game again or number two or something like that. Uh, I think Uni Rep and Future might see a very good a uh, mixture of teams together you know how you leader slot units if you leader slot go freeze on future or vice versa right your leader slot in vb on uni rep or something of the sort one of those kind of builds is going to be the best team in the game just because of how like oppressive defensive uni rep is i think uni rep is the best team right now if anyone was wondering it's the uni rep units anything revolving around go freeze is the best team and arguably kid boo already said this but number six i'm gonna be slapping i think jiren or 17 does deserve this spot i'll probably put yeah jiren at number six mvp 17 at number seven i'm almost sure this is how it's gonna go 
Yes, I think that's how it's gonna go. Um, and you guys might be thinking here with the brand new units, right? Like, uh, LF, Gamma 1 and 2. How are they not top 5? How are they not 6 or 7? Um, you individually, right? Individually, I think they are really that good. You could almost say they are on par with MVP 17 and even Jiren. They're like right around here right now, in my personal opinion. Uh, they're the second best LF units arguably right mvp 17 just has a little bit more value being on a universe rep setup more various builds than the lf um gamma one and two as you can see here they're on my universe rep setup probably one of the better builds that i've discovered uh full blast oriented build besides go frieza uh leaves nice equipment i uh, yeah, they need a little bit better equipment options in my opinion better peers probably individual peer would be really nice for them but um jiren same reason as mvp 17 jiren is tank god even with the missing z ability a lot of builds where i run him he's missing at least one z ability and he's still tanking incredibly he still has an insane amount of utility uh damage dealing potential he could be built either striker blast oriented he's primary he's a range type unit uh but we i always build him for strike on strike setups and he's cooking to the, you know the extent right universe rep is just so freaking good uh, so him and MVP 17, I think MVP has gained so much. He's on so many setups right now, including the best team being Uni Rep. Uh, he's on Androids. He's pairs well, very, very well with LF uh, Gamma 1 and 2. And um, he's just, you know, providing cut penetration for the team is actually extremely valuable. The rush protection, um, you name it, right? Those extra vanishes that he gets when his gauge is full literally insane so i it was a hard decision for me to do this specifically but i think i'm gonna be putting the gammas right here i just see a little bit more overall value and they're on boost right i, I have the gammas at low stars but i've seen gameplay i've seen what they're able to do these guys are broken and i wouldn't be upset if you threw them around here they're like this feels like where they're at they're on like a similar level to where these guys are at so please don't bite my head off these guys are very similar in um placements right here but i'm just gonna have to say jiren and mvp 17 have more overall value in the game right now um you know this guy on a yellow yellow blue setup with kid boo and mvp 17 is so toxic still the only unit that can really stop that is hit only one unit in the, i mean you're not gonna really say this guy's gonna stop that team he, he could but uh this is what it's looking like gamma one and two at number eight you could say around here type stuff i, I feel like you y'all are gonna bite my head off because they they really do deserve a higher spot individually but um without the team dynamics i think lf gamma one and two right now are in an interesting spot to where their best team is literally androids and androids isn't even a top five team um is it a top five team i don't think so i really do not think lf uh you know the androids if we're talking about all the best setups in the game go freeze already has like three of them the other couple have Kid Buu, Double Ultras, a um, little bit of Regen, a little bit of Movies and whatnot. But Androids is LF Game of 1 and 2's best team. You could say Movies is like their second best team, but I don't know, man. I, I just have used them a ton, and you know, it feels like these guys have more value than them right now. Individually, I think when they get better setups right now, like when they have a better a better team to throw them on i'm not really saying they're in a bad position or a better team they're just not i'm not gonna get mad at you if you throw them up here i'm not gonna get mad at you if you throw them in, in one any one of these spots please don't like be that pissed if i don't throw them in one of these spots but um yeah that's what it's looking like right there i'm gonna throw lf gamma one and two there just to talk about them a little bit their instance uh their swap cover null is really cool uh, reminds me of Trunks of Vegeta. Their blast damage is through the roof, like stupid blast damage. Could also build them strike on movies. They have a lot of really good strike equipment. Um, the uh, preparation mode is very powerful as well. A lot better than Goku Vegeta's. So they did a lot better with the prep mode. The animations are really good. Obviously doesn't count on a tier list. But you might get a little bit of style points. Um, blue card hits pretty good. It's one of those units that they need just a a uh an ultra maybe or like a a setup to where they have one more broken unit on their team because androids is not cutting it um obviously androids are really good if you're running this this setup right here is disgusting androids are really freaking good androids are really freaking good right now but um shorty is not in the top 10 or top 15 i don't think she's in the top 20 maybe 
Uh, Android 21 is the best, one of the best free-to-play units in the game. Uh, just individually, her blast damage, she's just stupid good. But um, I'm going to throw the Gammas up here. Sorry if anyone, you know, if you want to argue them up here, I'm really not going to be mad at you at all if you want to put them at like 5, 6, 7, even yeah, something like that. But um, I'll throw them at number 8. I want to throw... It's going to be hard, bro, because Piccolo... Piccolo's good, man. Piccolo's good, but I don't even know if he's top 10, bro. I'm, I'm going to throw Beast Gohan um, above Piccolo. Movies has gained more value. Uh, Piccolo is not better than Beast Gohan. Uh, you know, I could give the benefit of the doubt to Piccolo with the boost system and just, you know, everything. Like, all the hype and stuff. I want to put him a little bit higher from what I've used him at. He's still at lower stars. I've seen gameplay with him at higher stars. He has really good utility. He... The one thing that's interesting that I keep hearing, that I keep noticing, is just his gauge. You're only allowed to pop his gauge one time. And, you know, it has Dragon Ball manipulation. He does go type neutral. Um, he has a, the revival aspect of him is really good, too. But he just feels a little bit lackluster. Uh, you know, he's still top 10, which is good. It's just nowadays, if a unit's not broken, he's just good he's just okay he fits on the team he definitely increased the value of overall regen if you think about this setup right here if you're running kid boo him and zamasu kid boo piccolo pan that setup can be really freaking good and it does wall off go frieza uh let's be real here like uh green and yellow it just it's like a counter color counter to a go frieza setup potentially if you're running into just go frieza with double supports if you're running into a piccolo and um kid boo Piccolo and Kid Buu, you just have to have the good color combination, support, you're just destroying, right? Um, this is the setup right here with the pan supports. You could also swap pan for Zamasu and make just a full regeneration setup, but um, I am going to put Beast Gohan first individually. He's too good. Uh, I think movies could still use a better unit to bring him up. Gogeta wants to be mained on movies, unfortunately. He has to be on leader slot still. I uh, don't really think he's removed off movies because he's arguably the best unit on that team with Beast Gohan. Uh, but the nice addition, the red Gohan's really good. Orange Piccolo did increase the overall value. Gammas can still be ran on movies. It's fine. Um, built Blaster Strike, it's literally fine. And they're going to be cooking. But I think this is what my top 10 is looking like right now. Um, I really do think uh, this is what I'm going to be going with for top 10. 11 is probably Rev UI, then Shorty. The Rev UI is just, you know, he, he gets slandered to this day. He has really good utility. He's the best green on Universe Rep. Um, the gauge is very powerful, cover notification is very powerful, the damage, team dynamic, all that stuff. Same thing with Shorty, she's very underrated. Uh, she offers uh, non-cancelable support with when she pops her green card. She has a ton of vanishes. Um, she can hit pretty decent hard. Or pretty decent hard, is, is that proper English? I don't even know. Cell's probably higher than Magenta. Regenerate if you're running Piccolo, Kid Buu. This setup is probably really freaking nasty with Zamasu. I'm going to throw Zamasu right there. Um, but this is what my top... 15 is looking like so i think evo goes back down unfortunately gohan doesn't make the top 15 so these units that i'm not putting in the 15 you know you can like debate it in the comments if you really want to this guy's not in the top 15 and shorty is not in the top 15 i think this is my top 15 right now um the fours are really good individually but just gt is not you know gt can still cook but that shows you how much team diversity in the game right now it, uh, there is. So don't be bad if GT or if you see 4 is not in the top 15. It's not because they are bad individually. I say if GT gets an insane buff, right? Like Gogeta 4 drops as an ultra instead of VB. These guys jump dramatically high. They will be top 10 again, arguably top 5 or whatever. Uh, just right now, GT has getting no buffs. You know, you could argue Sun Family with Go Freeza and whatnot. But um, Androids is really good. Don't think... Magenta might be up here. I don't know, though. I don't... You know, you could argue Magenta. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt because of movies right now. But, um... This is probably... You know, I, I'll probably... Can I put him up here? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think I could put Magenta up. Like, from the what I've used of him, he's really good. He's definitely a really good 1% unit. But am I going to put him over the 4s? Probably not. I think the 4s are still better. 4 yeah, is still better. Um, they're, they're individually just too good, even based off team dynamics here. But, uh, this is going to be the rest of the, this is going to be my list right here, you guys. If you have anything you want to talk about or debate in the comment section below, uh, these guys are all close, right? 21, she's, she fits perfect with the new, new characters. Magenta's the same thing. Um, I just don't think his, 
you know, he wants to, like, units that are meant to be sacked off and killed, I'm not really a fan of that mechanic too much, it can do an insane amount of damage, but I'm not looking to have a 2v1 combination, just sack him off so early, especially if there's a lot of purples running around, go Frieza, and Gogeta again, you know, if you have the purples out, they're gonna be doing a little bit of damage to them, and they're just gonna heal them all back up. So the issue with Magenta's ability is that everyone is healing in the game, right? So imagine doing all the damage, even if you successfully land the, the finishing or like the ultimate blow, they're all just going to heal back up in most instances. So um, this is my list. Cell is still very cracked. You guys are underestimating this unit. Just don't. Um, he's going to be like this. I think this is my list right now, you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you guys in the very next one. Stay frosty and peace. Rain off all night